guys welcome back to my channel and to my home i'm eileen and today we're going to look at ellen villa apart mono and sand multi-mix that's 18 22. Okay, before we get started, please go over to Instagram and follow me there. I have my Wig to Toe Wednesday on Instagram. Every week I throw my wig on, show you my outfit of the day. I also have a Facebook page now, Crazy Wig Lady. So if you would go over and like that, I'd really appreciate it. I have content on both of those platforms that I don't have here. So be sure to check me out on Instagram. Okay, let's have a look. Ellen Villa, Apart Motto. Apart Mono. This is so cute. This is part of her Hair Power collection. It is just a short pixie with tons of layers. I mean, it is layered all over, and I think that's what I like about it. This is out of the box style, and it has a slight wave to it. When you take it out of the box, there was a slight wave to this, and I like that. I think it helps you get some height on this, and it really is beautiful. Let me let you see the back. Such a cute style. I love these styles that are close to the neck. On these uh, pixies, I think it's important that you can move your head around, up and down, anyway, and it will not come off your neck. And I think that's really a nice feature of these Ellen Villa wigs. She puts stays in the neck, in the nape back here, and it just keeps it really snug to your neck, and I really appreciate that. Like I said, this is just a short, slightly wavy style with tons and tons of layers and it just gives you this fun easy easy to wear style okay i'm going to take it off and we'll look at the inside of the cap the inside of the cap for ellen villa apart mono look at this large mono top and beautiful deep lace front this area does have some permatease to give you that lift down into the closed ear tabs with stays. It's open wefted, extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters, and there is some stretch in this wig. Really beautiful mono top and lace front. Okay, let's talk about this color, Sand Multi-Mix. Really beautiful blended shade, light ash brown, dark ash blonde, and light ash blonde. Now, the highlighting in this wig is not overwhelming. It's very subtle. Has that dark ash blonde and light ash blonde. Very pretty, it gives it that dimension, but in my opinion, this is a very neutral color. It is not a blonde, it is not a brown, it is in between there, and I think it's very wearable for many skin tones and face shapes, the uh, shape of this wig. Okay, let's have a look at this color in outside lighting. All right, let's talk about the specs. The front is three. The crown is 3.5. The sides are 2.5 and the nape is two. Again, really nice nape on this wig. And there is excellent coverage on this wig as well. You can barely see my bio hair here. Excellent. Okay, let's talk about some styling. All right, I will slip her on with a headband, of course. Cute. I really like that. I, as you know, I wear headbands a lot, and I think it really does switch up the look. Now, to get some texture, which you know I love, you can either use some John Renault Peace Out Cream. I use it all the time and love it very much. Or you can use the John Renault Holding Spray. And that's what I'm going to use today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it in my hand, just like that. Rub my hands together and get in this wig with it. <laughs> and I go all the way to the cap and pull the fibers away from the cap. Now, like I said, there's a little permatease in there, as you saw, just to give you some lift. And I think you can kind of see the waves in this when I do it this way. And again, I just do that and get some separation, lift, texture. 
I love the lace front, so I'm going to pull it off my face. Just my preference. Certainly don't have to. You can wear this with a bang if you would like. Piece those bangs out a little. Really cute. Really nice with the bang. Front three inch bang. Yeah, that's cute both ways. I just prefer it when I have a lace front. I like to just pull it off my face. A part mono. Really cute wig. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of your support, your feedback. I read them all. I try to answer every one myself, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. You have shown me such great support this year, and going forward in 2020, I think we're going to have a lot more really great wig reviews, colors, styles. I'm going to mix it up this year, so keep watching. Again, thank you so much, and don't forget, we're all in this together.